What's up everyone, Matt here. So, about a month ago I released a resource called an auto table. Basically a Google Sheet that you can add to your, to your app sheet app that will automatically configure all the columns and everything to what they're supposed to be. They're all pre-configured. Um, and the thing that it does is it allows you to add a table that is a development checklist directly inside your app. It gives you the ability to have something that looks like this to where I can have a list of items of things that I need to do to, com to complete this specific task. Um, and then another place where I can say, these are the ones that I've done. I can specify uh, the priority of it. I can also specify if it's ongoing, you know, if I need to cancel it or maybe I need to pause it type of stuff. Anyways, so I released that and I've been using it for this past month and I've made a boatload of changes to it. So this video, I'm gonna go over what changes I've made and how you can use this thing. So uh, if you've added this to your app, really, I'm just really quick, just come inside here and just kind of copy everything and drop it inside your app and add it in and you're good to go. Once, you're, once the table is added, the only thing you need to do to finish this is you need to create a view, right? Create a, a deck view or a table view, someplace where you can actually see the things that you need to do and actually enter the, the records that you need to work on and then create a record. And then when you're on here, when you're on the, the detail view, uh, the thing to do here is you need to set a couple of columns as quick edits. Putting quick edit here on the detail view, view is really kind of the magic sauce that makes all of this work because it's I can just come here, click on the record, click on the thing that I'm, I'm doing or click on the thing that I'm, I've done. So you need to go to the detail view and if you go to the quick edit columns, right? Do these three. Uh, the priority is kind of an option. You can do that if you want. It's helpful, I find, because you can, whatever. But you at least need to do the ongoing and the complete. If you put both of those inside the quick edit columns, then you get this nice little interaction going on right here. Now, to the changes of how this little interaction type thing works. So you have the ability to select the thing that you're doing. Um, and then I've got a column inside here that captures a timestamp and just, you know, we just kind of display this little thing in here. Uh, I was working on the idea of creating a running history where like I would take this little summary thing and just throw it in an enum list. And every time it changes, I just throw the new thing inside the list so that you could have this running list. Eh, it's still a work in progress. I don't know. Maybe we'll see. But the, uh, the idea is I can select the item that I'm working on. And then when I'm done with that, I come back here in this bottom one, I can select the thing that I'm done. Um, but I've rearranged how these lists work here. So um, I've had some of these to where like they've grown to be like 20 or 30 items. So trying to find the thing like, and they're sorted alphabetically. So trying to find the thing that I'm doing, like if it's way down at the bottom is really kind of a nightmare. So I've changed the sorting option for this completed checklist. You'll notice the item that I said that I'm doing, if I go back here, I said I'm doing number three. The item that I'm doing is now up at the top. Uh, also, any items that I have completed are now at the bottom and everything's in order. So the way that this goes is all the stuff you've completed is at the bottom. All of the stuff that needs to be done is above that in alphabetical order. The thing that you said you were doing is at the very top of that list. So this gives you a really easy way to kind of get to all of the stuff that, that you're doing. And uh, yeah, that's really kind of the only, the, the major change that I did was that, that sort of um, modification. Like I said, I've been using this thing for the past month. I've actually found this to be incredibly helpful. So super huge thanks to, can't remember who it was, to the original person that requested this. Yeah, man, you're an inspiration. <laughs> this sort of stuff comes from those quick little offhanded, man, it'd be sure be nice if this would happen. I hear that and I'm like, hey, I could do that and like take me just a couple hours. And these are the sorts of things that come from that. Thanks for watching everybody. I do appreciate it. I'll see you in the community.